Penguins, fantastic subject for filming. It's quite hard to sell an idea about making a film about birds, but penguins, never a problem, because penguins are, they're, they're sort of like honorary little people, and the way they walk around on two legs and they, they're very humorous, just suits a filmmaker right down to the ground. One of my favourite species of penguins is the Adelie. He's not very big, might come up to about my knees when he's standing there inside you, but for his size, incredibly feisty. And to spend time just quietly sitting near an Adelie penguin rookery is a wonderful thing, especially when they have their small chicks. When the chicks are hatched, really quite young out of the egg. They're quite small, you don't see very much of them because they'll spend a lot of time tucked underneath their mum. They only come out really to be fed. And what happens is the, the adult has been out at sea feeding. They come back, they go to the nest site and then when, they are, when the chick pops its head out and begins to stick its beak up and utters that little plaintive cheeping noise, mum or dad will bend over open its mouth and then if the adult has regurgitated food, the chick's head comes up and begins to feed directly from the parent. And that's a really, it's lovely to see that. And when you spend a couple of weeks in a rookery, you can actually see the chicks almost grow before your eyes. You go and see them one day, you go back a couple of days later and they're definitely distinctly bigger. They're also distinctly smellier. When they, I have to say that, Penguin rookeries, by the end of the season, are just about the smelliest places in the world to film. The guano, the ammonia, the pretty consistent rain that you're getting by February in the Antarctic makes them absolutely the smelliest places around. In fact, in the days of exploration, sailors used to know that they were getting close to land in the fog from the smell of the penguin rookeries rather than the sight of any land itself. There are several species of penguin in the Antarctic and they've all got different characters. I would say the Adelies are the most stand up for yourself and see off all comers. Chin straps, on the other hand, are and they would just pick a fight with anybody. The Gen 2s are the most phlegmatic. They're really quite easy going. They don't really get into big fights with each other. To be honest, I find Gen 2s a little bit more interesting.